he has all my support in fighting box in Madrid and everywhere else. I think the, the, the wrong decision was to have entered the government. Uh, and if I may, I have already criticized the past for them and publicly, personally, um, for tactical and strategic mistakes before, well before that. It was a huge mistake that he made when Tsipras surrendered to the Troika. Pablo Iglesias came out and supported him and he said, ah, oh, you know, that it wasn't such a bad deal that, that Tsipras got for Greece. It was a terrible deal. And it wasn't a deal, it was a surrender document. Now, why does this matter to Spain? Because it, but when Pablo Iglesias supported Tsipras, you know, Rajoy came out, who was prime minister at the time, and he held that deal that the surrender document in front of the camera and said to the Spanish people, this is what you get if you vote for Podemos. For me, that was the end of Podemos. That moment was the end of Podemos. After that moment, they plateaued and they started shrinking. Their failure or decision not to have a European policy and to go to the elections in December of 2015 and then after that again in the following elections without a European policy was a catastrophic error. Because, you know, once you reach 20% of the vote, to go from 20 to 40 in order, in order to, to govern, you need to be able to, to, to answer the question that um, middle of the road voters will put to you. And it was a, it's a, an important question. If we elect you and you go to the Eurogroup, what are you going to do there? What are you going to propose instead of austerity? What are you going to, going to propose that the European Central Bank does? Um, what kind of Green New Deal will you be pushing for? If you don't have an answer to these questions, and Podemos chose not to have an answer to these questions, then you don't go beyond 20%. So the combination of supporting Syriza's surrender and the lack of a European strategy meant that at best Podemos would be a junior partner to a socialist party that was um, simply going to manage the Spanish economy on behalf of the Eurogroup, of the Troika. And you know, a, 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 an insurgent party like Podemos that was created to oppose that line, from that moment onwards, lost its raison d'etre.